Hello, my name is Tin Lee. My partner is Amon Williams, and I'd gladly present to you today the WL Smart Plug. Now, what this is is that it is a portable power station with six power ports. Three of them are AC ports, and three of them are USB ports. This allows you not only to charge your mobile devices, but also connect any electrical appliances in your house. Now, what makes our port our device special is that each port can be controlled remotely via Wi-Fi through a web application. And furthermore, they can also be scheduled a time and date for automating their activation for a later time. What sets it apart from other smart plug devices on the market is that other devices usually only have one or two ports or that they would be grouped together. Whereas our product, each port individually can be controlled and programmed. The motivation for this project is mainly energy conservation. Now $19 billion annually across America is wasted on vampire energy or phantom load. What that is, is when an electrical appliance is plugged in, even though it's turned off, it can still draw power and cost you money. Furthermore, having the ability to toggle electrical ports ensures devices longevity. If you have a battery powered device that is charging and it is still plugged into the port, even when it's done charging, that could really harm the battery. Now, with our product, cutting connection entirely to the um, electricity, products won't be drawing power, causing phantom load, nor will they harm the battery. The main components that our device uses is firstly the MKR1000, which is a microcontroller with a Wi-Fi module and multiple digital pins used to control the six channel relay that are connected to the USB and AC ports. This is our module layout. As you can see, the microcontroller is connected to the relays and the relays are connected to their respective AC and USB ports. The microcontroller actively communicates to the cloud, which fetches information from the database and you as the user through the web application will also communicate to the cloud and update the database. Now, operation wise, when you first power the device, it will create a access point web server. This allows you to log in onto the microcontroller itself via the MKR1000 AP, log on to this IP and you will be prompted a network name and password. This is how you will communicate your home Wi-Fi credentials to the device. After the device has gotten your Wi-Fi logins, it will connect and promptly communicate to the web server's database. Now the database will look something like this. It will have two uh, lists. One is the different ports and their status, whether they're on or off, and the other is the scheduling list. These lists will, in combination, will communicate to your microcontroller to dictate which port is on and which port is off. And then the website will look something like this. The main page you will see each individual port and whether they're on or off, as well as on the side you have a, a list of tabs of days where when you click on them, you will see a list of automations, the time and date at which they will be on and off. And here is the resulting project accumulated. Here you can see the microcontroller connected to the six channel relays. Um, here we have an example of the AC port as well as the USB module, USB port. And this is our website where you can see there are six buttons corresponding to each channel. And the yellow means that they're on. And with the press of a button, they will toggle. It will communicate back to this database and changes the status data. Future improvements that we are looking into for our project is a more robust website with added security and faster access, 
as we know with IoT devices, security is the primary concern and priority. And also minim minimizing our unit price. Right now, a standalone device stands at about $70, and we would like to reduce that further. Thank you.